I have this uh, piece of plywood that's been sitting in my shed for three years. I'm finally gonna make use of it by making a bookshelf for my son. So I already drew the lines on how big the bookshelf's gonna be. And to prevent the tear out, I just took a razor blade and just kind of score the wood. So using my skill saw to make the cut. I have one of those edge cutter things, but it's not long enough, so I'm having to use the, the line to make the cut. So I'm glad I used this uh, digital angle finder. Um, for whatever reason, I decided to double check to see the angle to see if it's actually 45 and actually read 43.5. So I had to make some minor adjustment to get it back to 45 degree. So I think this is a great investment. It's something to have. This piece of wood was four feet long. I don't have a table, a proper table saw, so I'm using my AC unit as my extension to the table saw. If you have a better idea on how to make this cut, please let me know in the comments. Also, the same thing with the 45 degree angle. There's no way for me to make it perfectly without having to eyeball it. So this cut here is for the um, middle section of the uh, bookshelf and the outside. So again, here's the 45 degree angle cut on the outside. And in order to make it, I had to eyeball it first and then make the cut. And to give the center some support, I decided to make a dado for extra strength. So I didn't want to wait for the end to sand the bookshelf, so I just decided to sand all the pieces right now to get it over. So now I'm just getting ready to glue up the pieces and put some nail into them. So this little backing piece allows me to drill this securely into the bedroom wall. <coughs> it's not shown in camera, but I did put glue around the border of this little stick thingy. And then just the nail, just to hold onto it. <clears throat> and to hide the edge of the plywood, I'm using edge band around the face of the cabinet, or not the cabinet, the bookshelf. So these yellow marks that you see that's either on the uh, joint 
for just to mem the spots of the wood. That's just um, wood filler and it dries yellow. So uh, eventually when I sand it down, it's all sustainable. So I really liked how the natural color turned out. Um, but because we're doing this bookshelf in my son's room, we will be staining it the color ebony. Oh, just in case you don't know, um, always staying outside because this stuff is very really toxic. When I was staining this little bookshelf, even out in the open, Doors, it's it was still strong. So it's kind of hard to see from the the camera, but all those yellow marks from the wood putty or wood filler. Um, stain very easily with the uh, ebony color. So at this point it got a little too dusty so I took the time to clean up the area from the dust before I do more sanding. So with a 220 grit sandpaper I am removing a thin layer of the black so that the natural wood color from the plywood pops out so we have a mixture of um, black and blonde. And one last wiping and dusting before we apply the polyurethane. I gave the shelf two coats of polyurethane and two full days of sitting outside to cure and for all the fumes to completely be gone. And you know, this project for me, one of the things I really wanted to learn from this project was how to accurately cut 45 degree angles or miters from a table saw. and make it actually look nice or make it work. One thing I learned from the dado cut is cut small and then just work my way out because my dado cut was not as tight as I would like it to be. So here is the finished bookshelf. It is mounted to the wall with four screws four three-inch screws. Um, I, countersink, I countersink the holes as well, so when you put the screws in there, you can't see the hole, uh, the hole or the screw. Um, but that's how it looks like. Um, I really like how it turned out. You can actually see the natural wood you know, coming out from the black. The camera doesn't really show it that much. Um, I really like the 45-degree uh, miters. Um, they came out really nice, so I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe, like it, and I'll see you next one. Bye.